Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. I had to get this up. This will be a quickie. Um, so I just threw in some new master cylinders. Um, so the story goes, I put on some Hawk HP Plus brake pads. Um, those things made a world of difference compared to the stock BP10s that came with it. And by the way, I'm running the Gordon Levy's uh, Super Light 14 inch fronts, 13 inch rear, six piston front, four piston rear. So this may not apply to everybody, but I think it will. So running the BP10s and the standard three quarter inch masters, you had to put a lot of leg strength in to get it to stop. And it never was confidence inspiring. So I threw some HP pluses on Hawk HP plus brake pads for those way better, way better on the track, uh, way better autocross, but still a very firm pedal. Then a couple of weeks ago, I jumped in my buddy Dave's and my pedal was very rock. I mean, you, you hit like this, just rock wall. And then it was just leg strength. His had a little more gush to it, a little more travel, I guess you'd say. It wasn't as, as hard. Um, he thinks he's around one five eighths inch master one three quarter. So I bought two of these. Uh, so this way you guys have the part number. Willwood 260-10371. That's their compact uh, remote reservoir kit in five eighths, uh, 0.625 I believe it is. What a world of difference. Um, night and day. Now, a lot less leg power it's taken to, to get this thing to break hard. Um, it, it's just you got a little bit of travel now, so you can modulate it a lot better. Um, it doesn't quite feel like power brakes, but they're amazing now. I mean, truly, truly incredible. And I'm throwing this up because a lot of guys on the forum complain about, uh, you know, I don't feel like I can stop good enough. I don't feel like my brakes are good enough. I think three-quarter inch master cylinders on the duals is too big. I think 5 eighths is the ticket. It's just the pedal feels so good. I mean, probably with some of the best brakes I've ever felt in my life. And the car flat out stops. I know now, I can confidently say I can outstop anything on the road. I mean, 2,700 pounds with 275s up front, 335s on the rear. That is a lot of rubber on a light car. This thing will outstop a brand new Corvette, a brand new GT3 Porsche, just for pure physics. More rubber, less mass. Um, and it, it stops. I mean, it just plows you into the, I mean, the side windows, if I hit the brakes hard now, they slam forward. I mean, and you just get slammed up against the harnesses. It's a whole different world. Highly recommend it. So if anybody's having brake issues, I would say if you feel like you're just, just rock solid, go to a couple of 5 8 inch masters. As I said, I'll throw the part number up one more time. Willwood 260-10371. So this is what you're going to get. Not the easiest job to swap them out, by the way, um, you know, because it is tight in that foot box, uh, both and the coupe and the Roadster. I think the Roadster might even be worse. I'm not sure. Um, but definitely, if you want more braking power, throw those things in. Highly recommend it. Must do. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Uh, it's just night and day difference. Uh, I'm sticking with the 5.8s now. I am totally confident in this car now, brake-wise. Uh, feels just confidence inspiring to know that I can put my foot into it and it will stop it quick. Whereas before, I had to use a lot of pressure. Um, so definitely give it a go. Uh, by the way, I found the best way to bleed these things is through a pressure bleeder through the master. Um, I tried vacuum pulling it through, couldn't get these masters to bled. I don't bleed them on the bench like they recommend because then you end up making a mess. It's leaking all over the place. I just don't like doing that. So this way I didn't make a mess. It's, it's clean, done, um, but definitely highly recommend this, this modification. So, and then I actually made my, I'll show you what I made. So I took a, um, uh, where is it? little piece of aluminum and then I've got a little rubber gasket here I made so this goes on top of the master cylinder this goes on here with a little Schrader valve put about 5 psi to the compressor put it on there and it just drives the air right on out through the caliper um, piece of cake so highly recommend that as well so sorry I rambled a little bit here but definitely if you want better brakes throw some 5 8s in call it done so thanks again for watching. As I said, I'm trying to give tips and tricks so you guys don't have to deal with this. So if you get one, throw the 5 8 inch right away, be done with it. Um, that's my goal is to make it simpler for everybody else. And uh, hopefully this helps because uh, it's night and day. It's night and day, that's all I can say. So thanks again for watching. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I'll throw this up uh, hopefully the next couple of days. And uh, appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe. As I said, I've got another one coming up. My next video, I'm actually going to compare the sound on the new C8 Z06 Corvette against the Daytona Coupe. Uh, people are just going nuts over the sound. Oh, things sound so good. I don't get it. 
So we're gonna put up some video of the comparison of the two and let you all decide. So thanks again and uh, talk to you later.